Good morning, everybody. It's almost 8 o'clock here. I'm trolling into work right now. Uh, wanted to tell you, I, I, I did another rant video. It's over on the Facebook. That's where I'm putting most of my hardcore rants where I really kind of dive into particular topics. And so, for those of you that are already following me, you already saw it. For those of you that like to see more of my rants, go check out my Facebook page, give it a like, and you'll get a notification whenever I post something new. This one is about Pulse, it is about the shooting in Orlando, and um, it, it's really in response to some comments that I got on Facebook. I, I used the, uh, I posted the link to the Pink, the Pink Pistols News press release that they did, and I got some flack over it, had a, had a back and forth with a couple of people. And I wanted to address their comments, not really to them because I know I'll never change their mind, but I wanted to address it to a louder audience or a larger audience that is more of our side and, and try, to, try to both be compassionate and as well as objective about what's really going on in our realities. That guy was so conflicted that, you know, to keep going. Oh boy. Oh, we're getting ready. Look at this. We're getting ready for framing. Oh, they ripped the eaves off. See, some big stuff has to happen when they rip the eaves off. The roof line is an A-frame coming off of, of right there. It's gotta come straight out and, uh, and forward, covering this whole area. So exciting. It's happening, it's really happening. Oh, and there's a box. Whose box is this? So something I'm I'm toying with is uh, is the carrying of a firearm right in your pocket takes up main pocket. So for example, if you're California carrying, you got your, your gun here and it takes up this pocket. You don't want to put anything in this pocket because if you did so that would be dangerous, right? You don't want to add stuff to your pockets. So I'm toying with the idea of this this man pouch, right? And in the man pouch is. <laughs> Some of your other EDC items. Oh, you can put your knife. You can also put your old granny sunglasses you in can... your fanny pack. How dorky is this, right? It kind of fits up against your body. Is it all the way dorky though? See? It's like it, it's dorky in a way that can't even be interpreted as ironic. Really? We've we've laughed ironic and we've come right back to dorky town, is what you're saying? See, but you know, I can't, if you've got limited, so you got your wallet in your back pocket, and you don't want to load up your rear pocket with more junk, and you know what that looks like? this has a gun in it, this has a phone in it, so what do you do with your EDC? Well, there you go, now you got your side pocket. And you know what that's like? Do you remember when we Extra went, pockets. Do you remember when we went to Dyson with that guy that has like... The a, utility belt? Yes. Yeah. Yikes. Alright, so, Leah and I, well, I came home and I thought, um, I'm going to open a bottle of wine because I wanted some wine with dinner. And I grabbed this monster. I, I normally don't do wine reviews. The 337 or the Lot 337 Meritage. The Cameron Hughes Lot 337 2010 Meritage. I should have known better. It's a 2010, it's an Meritage. Wonderfully aged taste. Real, like real earthy, like, like cellar dirt in the best way possible. Like I can't. I can't make that sound good drinking dirt, but it's like the best musty taste, like that 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 uh, fermentation type flavor of truffles, like a truffly taste. Amazingly good. And then I flipped it around in the back. It's 14.7% alcohol. This thing is a bomb. I And if you if you just take the L and the 337, it's it's leet. Leet wine. Man. Rutherford, Napa Valley. What a bomb, an absolute bomb. If you can find this, get it. It's, it's really good, particularly if you like red wine. Red, dry wine, okay, heads up. Hey guys, so I thought I would explain this before I went any further with it. This is made by a company called Cadence. Cadence makes products specifically for bicyclists and particularly for fixed gear slash single gear lifestyle, quote unquote, enthusiasts. The idea is that this is a pouch that zipper a bowl. So you can put your wallet in here because when you're on a fixed gear bike, it's really easy to lose stuff. So having a zippered pocket is really helpful. It retains its 
self on your belt with this cool, really thick Velcro attachment. It really holds on nice. It has a uh, reflective piping on the side. Let's see if I can get light on it. See, there's a reflective piping. Why would this be good for EDC? Well, I mean, you can take things that are flat, put them inside, take your magazine. So I have an LCP. This probably won't work for Glock mags, but single stack mags would probably work okay. Maybe if you had a Glock 43. You can put it right on top there, zip it closed, and it's not much weight, and it's outside your pocket. So now you kind of have a nice little EDC pouch, and it, you can see it's, it's not much thicker than my, than my LCP here. Nice little idea for people who want more storage, particularly if you take up a pocket with putting something like an LCP in there. And it's hipster as hell. So that's on the side, right? It's, it's not, doesn't take up too much space. Easy to get into. You got your magazine if you had to get your gun out. Right now you're ready to go. And no, I'm gonna pull my holster out before I reinsert the gun so they don't get hate online because I put a loaded gun back in my pocket without pulling the holster out first. How could I do such a thing? Right, so you can get all your little EDC parts in here. And then you got your pocket still free up to put your, uh, put your phone in. I don't like putting stuff in this rear pocket other than a knife. I like having an offhand knife um, when I have a gun in my right hand pocket or my right side pocket. So that's my new tactical EDC pouch, hip pouch. No, it's not a fanny pack because it's too small. Question of the day. Is this a fanny pack? Or is this a, uh, a tactical, hipster, sexy pouch? Leave your comments below. You'll be judged by your answers. You'll be judged by your answers in this week's Question of the Day Roundup. All right, guys. See you later. You don't have to do two weeks worth of rounding up. I've been rounding up two weeks the last time I've been doing it. You want to go outside in a new living room? If I can go out there and talk like Bernie Sanders, I'll do it. <laughs> let's just stand by. Well, let's just see. How do we? Who paid taxes for this cement? This concrete. I'm. I'm gonna spend your tax money. You little. You little future taxpayer. Yeah, you smile. You smile. Do it again. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna spend. I've already spent your tax money, Edison. I'm Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Who paid for this? How much taxes did they pay on this? Cat, are you paying taxes? Oh are you paying taxes, Cat? Come over here. We paid so much taxes. <laughs> we paid schools. We paid taxes. All them taxes. So good. I don't even know who I sound like anymore. I sound like some angry cab driver from New York. Look at the framing. This is where the shit is gonna go. That's literally just a it's a sink right here. Here's your sink. Here is your toilet. And the door is right there? No, no the door's gotta be right here, right? Yeah. Door can't be. How do you get a door and a sink in here? Very slimline sink. It's gotta be like a pedestal, right? Like a slimline pedestal? I got a really shallow sink. Not like depth wise. You know what I mean? Not like the bowl is shallow. <laughs> I don't think you understand dimensions, my dear. Welcome to your new home, taxpayer. In the Bernie Sanders environment, this is all you need for a family of four. Is this funny? Is it <laughs> question of the day round two? Am I, am I funny? Am I funny conversationally? Are you that's drunk? what, that's what, no, I'm not drunk. I'm not, I, I totally come off of it now, but that hit me really hard. This stuff hit me really hard. Look at my closet. Your closet has a broom in it already. That's a puck. <laughs> so when people, when people <laughs> tell you that they're really funny and they go, well, I'm funny conversationally and they want to try stand up comedy, tell them no. <laughs> don't, don't let friends do that. Friends don't let friends be stand up comedians when they say they're conversationally funny. We've come to the end of the video, and this is what we call a trailer. It's where I ask you, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see my day-to-day -day vlogs, hit subscribe. And if you want, I've got a whole playlist with over 700 videos just talking about stuff that you just watched. So if you enjoy all of that, go check that out too. I really appreciate you coming. Comment below. I engage with everybody. And thanks a lot.